Um, so I had this show on the ride down in the van. It was in, it was in Virginia Beach. I live in New York. I had this hard lump on my arm, and not to be too graphic, but anybody that when you shoot dope, sometimes you get a hard lump on your arm, and it usually goes away in a day. Not even a day. Sometimes a few hours later, it goes away. Well, this lump wasn't going away. This was, and it, it was hurting, but like, like hourly, it was worse, tangibly worse by the hour. And, uh, you know, I lift kind of, I didn't want to look at it. I have a hoodie on and I'm kind of trying to hide, you know, some of my friends in the van aren't as down with drugs and some of them are using the drugs with me. So, you know, I have a hoodie on and I lift it up and it's looking kind of blue. It's looking kind of not good. And I say to my friend, I say, dude, is this bad? And he goes, no, man, if it was bad, it would be green. And that seemed like logic to me. That's again, though, not to be funny. That's how lost my brain is we get to virginia i show the sound guy and he's like bro you need to go to the hospital i do the show and midway through the show i realize i can't open my arm and when i say can't i mean it won't really open the pain is so great i'm sure i could have forced it open like a like a i don't know a rusty drawer or something i should have creaked it open but it hurt so bad that i get off stage and i I do what the sound guy said. The sound guy doesn't even know me. Some of these people in this van I've known for dec- a decade plus. This sound guy doesn't even know me. He's the one person that said, bro, go to the hospital, man. What are you thinking, you know? And so I go to the hospital and I have, I'm using all my best lies. I tell them I was at a, I'm on tour and I was at a, 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 a Florida hospital. I, I, I got overheated and they gave me an IV and it got infected. So anyway, I'm pretty sure I have these people fooled, but this thing is getting, by the way, the friend that said it's, it would, if it was bad, it would turn green. Now it is turning green. It's also about the size. It went from a golf ball to like, I don't know, a little bigger than a golf. We are full baseball now, my arm. And it's red, like a scary hot. I can feel the heat. And the doctor comes in, draws in a line on my arm, and he says, uh, if that red gets above that line, we're in serious trouble. Sure enough, he comes back in half an hour or so. and It's not even just a little above the line. It's well above the line. And I said, Doc, am I going to lose my arm? Joking. Because I thought the answer was going to be, of course not, dude. What? what? And he said, probably not. We're going to do everything we can to make sure you don't lose your arm. And I'm just laying there again feeling the weight of my own decisions. The surgeon comes in and she's like, listen, it's going to hurt just as bad to numb this thing with a needle because I air blowing on it was, this was a pain. This is a singular pain in my life. It was, I'd never felt anything quite like it. She said, this scalpel is going to hurt as much as this needle. And she cut into this thing. And now I thought it would be like a pimple, I guess. I don't know. I'm screaming in pain. But I thought that it would just, I don't know, expel. It would, you know, the stuff would come out. That's not how it worked. She had to slice inside of it. And what came out was, I can only describe as, if there's anybody here with a medical background, maybe you could back me up because it sounds unbelievable. Neon green raw sewage is what came out of my arm. And I'm screaming, and she's like, you got to stop. She's like about to throw up from what is pouring out of me, and it's thick. This is not like, again, I'm not trying to be gross, but I'm I'm looking. I'm looking at this coming out of me, and I've gone into like almost a state of like not numbness, but like I'm dealing with her squeeze. You ever see Dr. Pimple Popper? Well, they got to squeeze that shit out. That's what she's doing, and the pain was so great. It reached a level of just, and I keep thinking about lose your arm. You're going to lose your arm. You have shot so much heroin in the arm. You're going to lose your fucking arm, dude. She gets the stuff out. They pack it with gauze. I've got a a gaping open wound. And again, I I just want you guys to understand, this is is hard to admit. And I I convinced them to let me leave the hospital in Virginia. But under the, I made friends with everybody there. They liked me. You know why? They had me high in there. I was on morphine. It'd be awfully charming when I'm high. I made friends with the people in there. They made me promise I go from Virginia straight to New York and right to the ER where they're going to re-clean, check everything. But that's not what I did. I drove straight to New York, 
and went right to my dealer's house and shot more heroin. And I think it illustrates just how sick I am. Probably not lose your arm. Probably not. The answer wasn't, of course not, dude. Like, was probably not. But I, you know, when you're, lo- again, and I, I only bring it up because I think it illustrates the disease. And that's, uh, I'm, sh- I'm shocked. I see, I'm shocked. Couldn't just go to the hospital first? No, no. What are you, crazy? Go and get high first. I will say, in a bit of a good decision, I shot into this arm with my left hand, but I was bummed about it. I was upset about that, that I had to, that I could be, you know, that I had to shoot in the other arm. Oh, what hard luck for me, you know? And it's, again, I think it just, we're not just trading war stories here. Again, it illustrates the depth of the disease. 